All right, this is a full speed run through um, of how I would do the Unity Create with Code Unit 1 Lab uh, without any of the intermediate steps. I'll explain what I'm doing along the way, but this is going to be just a really, really fast, I know what my endpoint is and I'm gonna get there in exactly the way I would do it myself. Um, if you want more in-depth tutorials or a slightly longer video with a few intermediate steps and more explanation, I'll put links below. Um, but let's just dive straight into it. So I know I wanna put a car and I wanna be able to drive that car and I wanna be able to dodge obstacles with that car. So let's just pick a car here, um, use the same vehicle I did in my slightly longer explanation. There we go, we've got a car. And I want you to be positioned roughly at the origin. Um, next thing I know I'm going to want to do is let's come over here and make a script for my vehicle controller where I can put my code to control the car. I know I want to apply that vehicle controller. I'm going a little too quick. Apply that vehicle controller to my car here. Now, if I go over to Visual Studio, reload that because that was from my last tutorial. Um, I need to get my vertical input first by getting the vertical axis. Um, and then I know I'm going to want to transform, translate in the forward direction. And I need to multiply that by my delta time as usual when we're working with non-fixed frame rates. Uh, gonna wanna multiply that by my vertical input. And then I need some form of speed that I can alter. Uh, let's make it public for now, cause I might as well, whoops. There we go, there's my speed variable for driving forward. Multiply that by speed. Similarly, so that is And then I want to rotate because steering isn't just translation left and right. So let's get my horizontal input. Oops. Do, do, do. Horizontal input, there we go. Transform, rotate around, I'm rotating left and right. So that's around my up axis, time delta time. horizontal input and similarly I'm probably going to want some sort of horizontal speed uh, let's call it turn speed um, I'm gonna want this to be a bigger number I'm pretty sure so times turn speed and that should give me a good approximation of driving um, are you unhappy there we go okay so I've got my vehicle controller on there. Let me just do a quick check and make sure I didn't make any blatant mistakes. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, um, I need obstacles for my car to drive around. I'll use the same ones I did last time again. Pop out a crate here. Uh, I want my crate to have a rigid body because I know I want to be able to collide with it. And I'm gonna want a couple of those. Whoops, you didn't duplicate. Why not? There we go. Crates. More. Yeah, something's being weird about my controls. There we go. More crates. More crates. Sure. Good enough to start. Um, and just make sure I can collide with those properly. I can't because I didn't put a rigid body on the car, did I? Uh, nope. Let's fix that. There we go. Yeah, crash through some boxes. Yeah, it seems okay. All right, need my camera to be a little bit more useful. Um, so let's just test about where I'd want you to be. Back over, and I'm gonna want you rotated to face forward. Um, zero in the X, you'll line up with the car. That's a little too far back probably, so maybe like negative 10. That might be too close, but let's rotate around the X to look down. That's decent. Maybe a little less and a little lower. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Okay. So I know I want that to be at about 0, 6, negative 10. So coming over, whoops, I need to actually create the script first. Let's make a 
camera controller. Go open up my camera controller. In theory, there we go. Um, it needs to know about my vehicle. And I said I wanted it to be, I want its position to be equal to the vehicle's position plus uh, zero. I think it was like six above and 10 behind, I think is what I did. I should probably actually put the vector three in there. <laughs> that might be helpful. Uh, that seems decent. I didn't put that on my camera yet, did I? Camera, no. Camera controller onto camera. Vehicle into vehicle controller. Go. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it seems decent. And that's about it for the lab. We got a car. We can drive. Um, doesn't, for the sake of the lab, need some of the more complicated things. <laughs> the car flies a little bit. Um, there we go. That is a very quick run through of the lab. Thanks for watching.